Nerd girl, I don't deserve you I don't get the references you refer to I love your lips, my cousin, you like a perfume I hope you get you home, my curfew Word up! There's a special kind of girl that goes in my shows up, And I don't mean the goopy hoes Big all Breezy all Baby coming back at you with another episode Of Dooba 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 Duval Zone Local Legends Self-produced here in Jacksonville, Florida Doing big things, you heard me? So, a lot of a lot of shit happened since the last time I talked to y'all. Check it out. I went to see Playboy Man Baby. I went to see Oakley Dokley, Max Sabbath, Rob Roy, Swords, Whole Wheat Bread. Oh my God, Evergreen Terrace. Oh, I found out about a new band from Duval. Asked me if I care. Saw a performance from the great Uncle Nard, Talking Trees. I'm from Duval. That was like an anthem back in the day. Like high school, middle school, when that shit came out, like right when like YouTube was getting big. Man, I remember blowing up to that song in the locker room and shit. Whooping. That's where, that's when Duval, like Duval, man, that's when that shit happened. Now it's a huge, big thing, man. I love it, man. God, it was legendary. I've gone to a lot of shows, man. And these past shows were some of the best ones. Let me get started real quick, man. Playboy Man Baby. I've been hyping this show up since the beginning of time. Since I heard about it back in the back a couple months ago, since since Local Legends started. Damn. It's been such a long time. Anyway, so they had a great show, dude. A lot of people may not have heard of them. That's okay. Go check them out. They got a couple of records out, man. Last one I've seen or I heard was Don't Let It Be. They got a little sense of humor to them, dude. I'm telling you, they're raw. And uh, so the concert, like, first of all, the songs are awesome. They perform with such high energy. They got a trumpet player that just plays the maracas in the trumpet, man. I'm a sucker for some brass section. And you know, like, oh, he got up on the ground in the crowd and had one of the most intense games of rock, paper, scissors I had ever seen in my entire life. I was like, what? Here, check it out. We are playing our man, baby. We prepare a clear about that. I don't feel the need to reiterate it. I don't like repeating myself. However, I do have new information for you. We have not one song left. No, we will subject you to two more. Yes, you do. Also, he got when he got in the crowd like the second time he like rallied everybody up to get real crouched down on the ground and then exploded up out of nowhere. Dude, real high energy, great crowd participation. Check out this clip. Have a good time and then you guys would learn something. And we can't leave without a big, just a big lesson on democracy. No, 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 no. It's time to teach you the most important lesson I've ever learned in my whole life. And that is counting. Are you excited to learn about counting tonight, Jackson? Beautiful. I'm going to need you to trust my methods. Please, come a little closer to me. A lot closer, frankly. I am a strange man who can walk away from the A place with no options or gators. But we have scorpions, which are similar. Now, what I need you to do is get down with me. 
very important to count me. I promise you. This is the only way we'll learn. Okay. We have no time to waste. We must begin counting now. They were a great surprise, dude. Like, I had listened to a little bit of their stuff because I didn't want to go in not knowing nothing. And I was impressed a little bit beforehand. And, you know, they put on a great show. If they ever come back, man, I'm definitely going to check them out. You go check them out. Playboy Man, baby. Uh, oh, Oakley Doakley. Dude, they were awesome. It was like... I'm a big Simpsons fan. Ever since I was little, you know, came out 89, I was like four or five, and I was never allowed to watch it until I was allowed to watch it. You know what I'm saying? I love The Simpsons. I caught on to pretty much every reference that they throw out, so it was like a little bit of nostalgic. This is, you know, why I like it. You know, it, it was tight. They put on good music. They put on high energy when they're performing. It's a badass band, man. Go check out Oakley Doakley here. Check out a couple of these clips. Florida, how the deal are you? Thank you for coming out to this show tonight. We are Oakley Doakley, the world's only metal band. And this is the American Cheese Tour, so we have one job on this American Cheese Tour, and that is to kick out the steamed jams. Are you ready for some steamed jams? Yeah! This next one is about feeling, I'm sure we can all relate to it, it's about a feeling of impending doom. That's what we like to see for impending doom, that's good. Let's go, this one's called When the Comet Gets Here. There was an episode where Homer goes skiing. I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about this on YouTube. There's an episode where Homer goes skiing and Ned Flanders busts down to his ski suit and Homer can't concentrate on skiing anymore because Ned Flanders got a nice butt. And it's like one of the lines that he uses is like, check it out, Homer, look at my ski suit. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. And then it replays in his head like, nothing at all, nothing at all, nothing at all. It's all he could concentrate on, and he does it at the concert. Here, check this out. Earlier this year, we got an email from the people at Fox. Yeah! And what we always thought would be a cease and desist letter. <laughs> it was something incredibly different. It was, it was actually wonderful. It was, it was almost as wonderful as this fan right here. <laughs> really wonderful right now. Thank you. It was very wonderful. They actually took our music video for the song White Wine Spritzer and they put it at the end credits of an episode yeah. of The Simpsons. Yeah. 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 Celebrate that with you. People have asked so me, weird. they're like, Ned, what, what does it feel like to have had that whole thing happen? And I tell them it feels humbling, it feels liberating, it feels freeing, it feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs>
this what's called? Nothing at all. Oh, and the headliner, American Cheese Tour 2019, Max Sabbath, dude. I'm telling you, they were raw. They were kind of corny as fuck, but they were raw. They were talented. You got to be talented to be able to play all them songs by memory. Somebody else's songs by memory in them 40-pound mascot suits. And they put on a good show, dude. Their jokes suck. I'm not going to lie. I'm sitting there drunk as fuck, wanting to heckle them, but I'm holding the camera. <laughs> Listen, I'm just a jerk, though. Don't, don't do what I do. You know, don't be like me. I'm not a very good role model. So anyway, check out these clips of Max Sabbath. So yeah, man, it was a great show, and uh, all in all, uh, Max Sabbath, they all had cool merch, 
This is like, as a fan, you know, I love bringing home t-shirts. I got a collection of them. My girlfriend says I need more drawers or less clothes. I'm like, whatever. But listen, I got Oakley Doakley shirt. I would Max Sabbath got cool merch. But get some triple XLs, man. Get some fat kid love, dude. For real, I want to bring home some of your cooler designs, but I couldn't because shirts are too little, dog. Come on, man. Like, whatever. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> Stupid sexy Flanders.